I got a lot of compliments from other teachers saying they think when I grow up I'm going to be a very good teacher. They said that I, I, I taught the kids well. They understood what they was doing. There was, there was like the, the best learning group. I felt proud because it felt like I was doing very good. It was one of the best feelings that I had in life. Part of the problem that we experience with our students is that we don't allow them to be a part of the teaching and the learning process. We think that we own the classroom. We just go in as teachers and we teach and they should sit there and listen. And sometimes the students don't get it because they're not involved in it. They're, they're removed from what goes on in the classroom. As you allow them to see what goes on, to see the steps, to see the preparation that goes into planning, it becomes more meaningful to them. It has to be meaningful to them in order for them to understand it, in order for them to want to learn. They have to see what goes into learning. What we hope the teachers will gain is, is twofold. One thing we hope they'll gain is a sense of uh, empathy, that they may have a sense of what it feels like to be a student learner and actually have a chance to learn from students. Another thing that we hope teachers will gain is a chance to see their students as leaders. So the students that are leading the professional development may be students that teachers have seen as leaders in the past, but they may not be students that teachers would identify as leaders. We also hope that the students gain a sense of empathy. We hope that students have a chance to see the amount of energy and concern that teachers pour into planning and designing instruction. But we also hope students see themselves as leaders and they see themselves as people who have a say in their own learning. When we talk about giving students opportunities for high intellectual performances, mm -hmm. well, to bring them out of the classroom into a training with people, you know, with peers and with, with other adults who they don't know, that's a great opportunity for them to excel. All right, now share your sentence with the class using this frame. Here are my words, blank, blank, and blank. This is my sentence. So if you want to share, raise your hand and say it like this, okay? Every day I would come to school and I would see Mr. Fryer up there and the kids would be rude to him. But then like um, in this program, I, I had learned that they take at least like eight to, no, six, six to eight hours to come up with just one day of lesson plan and, and it's like a whole lot. Actually, when I was up there, it was, it was kind of fun. I was nervous, but I couldn't, couldn't show it because I wouldn't be professional. And um, it just, I felt proud being, being up there, you know, teaching the kids and then walking around and um, asking them if they need help and all that.